Hello, Veteran 0 and 2 in here. Welcome back, and we are replaying Final Fantasy IV. In the last episode, we explored the Mist Cavern, fought the Mist Dragon. It seemed a rather benevolent creature. So maybe killing it wasn't such a good idea after all. But anyways, in this episode, uh, before we enter in the Village of Mist, what I want to do is I want to remove all of Kane's equipment because he's going to be leaving our party very shortly and he's not going to need that equipment anyways. So I might as well make use of it uh, either through selling or equipping on a future party member. So there you go. Oh, so that's why they called it a bomb ring in the original translations of this game. Huh, alright, whatever. This is kind of a spoiler, is what we though. Were sent to do? He wished this village torched. But why? Why? Yeah, a little cheesy there, but I like it. Mother, you can't die just because your dragon did. I've heard of their lot. Men who can conjure idolons. Summoners. Then the dragon we slew was her mother's? <gasps> Uh-oh. You? You're the ones who killed her dragon? Forgive us. We'd no idea this would happen to your mother. His Majesty sent us to eliminate every last one of these people. No. Foul work, to be sure. We'll need to kill the girl as well. Cain! It's her or us, Cecil. She's a child! You'd betray your king? Betray him? Any man who'd wish for this is no king of mine! <laughs> I thought you might say that. Then... I owe his majesty much, but not so much I'd soil the Dragoon's name in his. Then you're with me. Baron's army is the mightiest in the world. Our flight means nothing if we remain alone. We must treat with other nations, share what we've seen. And Rosa, she must share our flight. And she will. Thank you. I'm not doing this for you. Huh? Huh? Quickly, we mustn't linger here. What of the girl? We take her with us. Come, it's not safe here. Take my hand. Go! We've no time. Use force if you must. Stay away! Wait! Pissed off the wrong little girl, wouldn't you say? <laughs> yeah. Get away from me! So yeah, this girl is gonna summon an Eidolon that she can't actually summon at this point in her life. So that's kind of a continuity screw up, maybe, I guess. I don't know. Or maybe she, it was, she was just so enraged that she she did it and she she didn't know how she did it, I guess. But yeah, Kane's gone. He flew the coop. He said, screw this. I'm blowing this popsicle stand. But yeah, the little girl's alive. So that's good, even though she did try to kill us, but... Oh well. So 
So yes, we need to take this girl someplace safe, but before we do that, I need to save my game. Alright. So, in this part right here, I'm just going to be going, we're going to be going to the northeast. If I do get a, uh, attacked, I'm going to uh, run from the battle, and apparently I don't have to worry about that, because I didn't get attacked. Beautiful. Alright, this is the village of Kaipo. So yeah, we're going to automatically go to the inn. Hail, traveler. Alright. Thanks a lot, buddy. What a nice guy, huh? Didn't even charge us. Yeah, I like this little part here with Riddy, with uh, this girl and Cecil because, you know, Cecil is genuinely remorseful for his uh, his actions, and it shows. You can tell it's tearing him apart. And what the hell? How the hell did these clowns find me? But yeah, these are uh, soldiers from Baron. Uh, how about no? So yeah, we're gonna be taking on some Baron soldiers. And what I want to do is I want to kill two of these guys. Just two. And then I want to focus on the general and back. They don't hit very hard, so that's a good thing. And you get more experience if you kill the general and back, so it's totally in your best interest to do so. Time to use a potion, I think. Alright, yeah. I'm gonna use the darkness command to boost Cecil's attack power. Yeah, I want to kill the general and back. There we go. And yeah, that actually confuses the uh, <laughs> the soldier here, which is kind of funny because I think he'll attack himself. Come on, attack. Do something. Yep, there we go. <laughs> hey! So we get a good amount of experience for that. Cecil levels up. And there, there's his uh, stat increases for the level, which is nice. It's all right, little girl. I mean, after all, we're the one that we're the one that killed your mother and stuff. So, you know, it's the least we could do, I guess. And this girl's name is Rydia. She's the black mage slash summoner of the game. 
Probably my favorite summoner in the entire Final Fantasy series. I mean, Yuna's pretty cool from Final Fantasy X, but nah. Riddy is awesome. Apprentice Summoner, you acquired one summon. Ooh, got an achievement. Alright, so let's go ahead and check out Rydia. As you can see, she's level 7. She has more HP than she starts with uh, in the 2D iterations of the game. Come on, okay, there we go. Uh, she does come with a rod. Uh, she doesn't have anything for headgear, and she usually can't equip shields, or anything in her left hand. Yeah, in fact, I don't think she can equip anything in her left hand ever the entire game. So, there you go. Let's look at her abilities. Uh, at this point in the game, she has white magic, black magic, and summon abilities, so she's very well-rounded as far as magic is concerned. However, at this point, she really doesn't have too many spells. So let's go check out her magic. Alright, as far as white magic con is concerned, she has the cure spell. She has the sight spell, which, uh, yeah, displays a mini-map of an area. Black magic, she comes with the blizzard and thunder spells. She will learn more spells as she levels up. And she starts out with the chocobo summon. Now, in this version of the game, I'm guessing they omitted wit. There's no more wit. He's gone. So, that begs the question, what the hell is the black, ch or not the black chocobo, but the fat chocobo for in this game? What is it for? I kind of want to know. Tella and his daughter Anna were always close as a father and daughter could be, blessed their hearts. One day Anna simply up and ran away from home. The old sage has been grief stricken ever since. Well, come on, man. I mean, I mean, that sounds like a sad story, but eventually you gotta let your daughter go out in the world and live her life, you know what I mean? Alright, here's the items that we can purchase here. I don't really care. One thing I think I want to do, though, let's see here. I want to check abilities, Rydia... Auto Battle Command, Items, Rod, there we go. And then, can I change her Attack Command as well? Yes, I can, that's handy. So yeah, I can actually set her Attack to be uh, her Rod Command. Because uh, if you use uh, Rods in battle, they actually, uh, like this particular Rod will actually do damage based on her Intelligence. So, it's pretty nice. Definitely more useful than doing that in the uh, 2D iterations of this game. What's this? Kaipo's Finest, huh? Kingdom of Fabul, huh? Barred by a moonstruck old man who refused to grant me passage. Oh, great. I don't understand why Tala is barring everyone's... Well, yeah, I spoiled it. You've seen me play this game before. If you haven't played this game before, then, uh, well, then you should've. I mean, it's amazing. You should totally play this game. But yeah, uh, <laughs> I threw out a spoiler already. That's what happens when you play a game that many times in your life. But anyways, what is the ma Cannot undo what I've done, Rydia, but I will make amends. Okay. He looks so, so sad. So yeah, Rydia, he's actually, she's actually starting to empathize with Cecil a little bit because she's, she understands that he feels remorseful for his actions, so. Alright, this is the village of Kaipo, let's explore, shall we? Here's, a, here's an equipment shop. Other cap, huh? Do I really want to get this? 
Eh. Eh. Iron armlet, I think. Uh, no, no, no. I mean, I suppose you could get a leather cap for Rydia. But, uh, I'm not gonna bother. I'm gonna find something for her soon enough. Uh, in the next dungeon. Hey, guy. Scary snakes. Don't say that. that sounds pretty dangerous. All right, so we're gonna find out what the hell this black chocobo does. What the hell? Wow, what can we do with this thing? What can we do with the black chocobo in this version of the game? And the other version, or like in the DS version of the game, uh, you could... Uh, you could do the wit mini games with it. Kind of glad they omitted wit from this, because I never cared for that anyways in the DS version. Figure, what's the point? I don't want to do all these mini games just to power up a summon. Didn't seem worth it to me. trying to find items right now in case you're wondering why I'm wandering around like an idiot. Is there anything over here? Oh look, another dancing girl. Let's check it out. Sure, we'll watch ya. Why not? Cool. Nice dance. Yeah, I have uh, heard a little bit about her so far. So yeah, again, I don't understand why this old man was like, No! You can't fall in love with a man! Absolutely not! You have to stay my daughter forever! So yeah, that's kind of silly, huh? Sarah. Oh, okay. Again, I'm looking for items. If you're traveling with so young a child, best keeper in the background. Oh yeah, thank you for the reminder. Actually, I never actually did that yet. So yeah, party. Let me go to the party menu. Let's invert this shit. I want Cecil to be here, and I want you to be there. There we go. I got Cecil in the front row, ready in the back row. We are good to go. Hmm. Wait a minute, say that again? Really? Yeah, the prince has a voice as fair as any maiden's. Well, it's not just his voice. It's pretty much his entire being that's pretty much feminine. <laughs> Very effeminate character. But anyways, I'm going to end the episode right here. That's all for this episode of Let's Replay Final Fantasy IV. In the next episode, we'll continue exploring Kaipo and uh, find items, good stuff like that. Maybe even some augments. Because, uh, yeah, they have yet to uh, introduce the augment system for this game. So that'll be introduced in the next episode. This is Veteran 021. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. You know, earlier on in the episode, I was calling the fat chocobo the black chocobo. I don't know why I was calling it the black chocobo, but whatever. I misspoke. <laughs>